and welcome to Walking Movies. I'm Nick and that is a car going past me at speed and more because I'm almost at the cinema. This is the busy part of the road, I don't know why. Not to use this part as a racetrack. But I'm here today to go and see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. The sequel to, I know it's going to come as a shock, Beetlejuice. Now, I really liked Beetlejuice when I was a kid. Didn't really get it, but I liked it. And what I liked even more in the film was some annoying kids going past. But, was the toys. I loved the Beetlejuice toys. I was a big fan. So, that was kind of my childhood really. I didn't get the ones I wanted, but I did have one Beetlejuice and I had one crypt playset, which shrunk him down. And this is a film that people have wanted for a long time. I remember in the first days of me going on the internet that there were rumours of a sequel film called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice Goes Hawaii. And it never happened, but it would have been interesting if nothing else. Uh, but here we are, some 20, no 30, over 30 years later, I think 34 years later, with the sequel, which sees Michael Keaton back in the main role of Beetlejuice. I say the main role, if you actually go back and watch Beetlejuice, he's not in the film very much. Uh, we also have Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara returning, and we've got Jenna Ortega, who it seems has to be in anything that requires a goth role at the moment. And that's not a knock. I like Jenna Ortega. I'm just saying it, doing a lot of the same kind of stuff. Um, so look, I'm nervous about the film. I've not paid too much attention to reviews. I'm sitting this on Sunday. It was the earliest that I could go and see it. Um, so I don't know what the general consensus is. But it's a beloved film. And... Tim Burton's been patchy for a while, so I guess I'll tell you my thoughts after this. Well, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Let's get into it. I don't think I've left the cinema this year feeling more joy than I did walking out of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm shocked that I enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't ex expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. Like, I think it's better than the first film. I really do. I think it was more fun. Uh, the effects were great. General Ortega was great. Everyone was great, to be fair. Um, Catherine O'Hara, I think, was better in this role. There's one thing about the film I'm not that keen on, um, and that's to do with the character of Charles. Uh, he's not in the, the 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 actor should know is not in the film, and you can look up the reasons why if you want. He still is an actor, but I'm not shocked he's not in this film, and I'm actually surprised with how. The character is in this film. Um, and that is literally the only negative I've got. I mean, everything else I just loved. Um, wow. Yeah, I just, I just felt total joy watching this film. And it's, it is a massive surprise and it's a grateful one. Like, I've seen some enjoyable films this year. And this isn't going to be like the best film I see this year. But in terms of how it made me feel, it's definitely up there. Um, I can't think of another film this year that I've, I've seen that I felt this this happy about. Um, I almost feel like saying it's a 9 out of 10 film, but it's probably not, because there, there are undoubtedly issues with it. But it, it was a 9 out of 10 how I felt. Uh, it's probably an 8 out of 10 film, though. Um, I just... Yeah. Wow. 
really, really enjoyed it. It's the, it's the most I've enjoyed a Tim Burton film since Mars Attacks in a way that, you know, I, I found it just, like, really enjoyable uh, and funny. The music's good in it. I like the use of the music in it. Some interesting choices. Michael Keaton, uh, it, you know, it's like he... He hasn't aged. I mean, obviously he has, and everyone's aged in the film, but the performance hasn't changed. It's still the same. Um, I hope it's a big hit. I haven't seen... I mean, it's on Sunday, so we'll hear the, the box office figures, but my screening was packed, and I think it will be a big hit, and it, it deserves to be. It deserves to be. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's an 8 out of 10. Uh, but you should definitely see it. Go and see it at the cinema. It, it, it's, it lives up to the, the heavy expectations that happen sometimes when you've got a film that's kind of as iconic as Beetlejuice is. You know, it, it's a film that's the test of time. And this is a very worthy sequel. I would love to see a Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Whether we get to see one or not, I don't know. And if they are going to do one, do not wait as long this time, guys, please. But, uh, yeah. Go and see Beetlejuice. Uh, thank you for, for watching this. And um, until next time, remember that Flynn lives. <laughs>